In this video, we're going to solve a second order differential equation using the Laplace transform. So I've got a chart of Laplace transforms over here that'll be useful as we find our solution, including this one down here, which involves the Laplace transform of a derivative. So let's notice that the Laplace transform of an nth derivative of f is s to the n times the Laplace transformation of the function itself minus this sum, which is decreasing in powers of s while it increases in powers of the derivative of the original function evaluated at zero. So we'll use, we'll use that applied in the solution of this. Okay, so now what we want to do is apply the Laplace transformation to both sides of this equation. So that's going to give us the following. That'll give us the Laplace transform of y double prime minus 5 times the Laplace transform of y prime plus 6 times the Laplace transform of y equals 3 times the Laplace transform of e to the 2t. And now, while we're at it, let's set capital Y equal to the Laplace transform of little y, just for notational convenience. Okay, good. Now we can use this formula down here, which I have a video where I derive on all of these terms. So the second derivative and this first derivative. Okay, now applying the Laplace transformation formula to uh, y double prime, we have this is s squared times y, where capital Y is the Laplace transform of little y. And then we have this is minus s times y evaluated at zero minus y prime evaluated at zero. Now notice that follows this formula where in this sum, the power of s is decreasing while the derivative is increasing. Okay, good. So this is what we get for this first term. And now we have minus five times, so we have s y minus y evaluated at zero. So again, that's just an application of this formula again with uh, the first derivative. And then we have plus six times capital Y. So that comes from this term. Good. Now we have uh, three over S minus two. And that comes from this Laplace transformation of e to the at. Okay, great. So now let's combine like terms. So notice we've got a bunch of terms with uh, capital Y on the left-hand side. We have an S squared from this. We have minus 5S from this middle term. And then we have plus 6 from that last term. Okay, so that's good. And now notice uh, we also know something about the initial conditions are going to give us these values right here. So notice this is going to be minus uh, 3s minus 2. Good. This is minus 3 from this initial condition. Good. So now we have subtracting 2 and then we're adding 15. So that's going to give us minus 13 equals 3 over s minus 2. Okay, good. And now notice we can bring this down. We can factor this. So this is going to be s minus 2 times s minus 3 times capital Y equals 3s plus 13 plus 3 over s minus 2. Good. Uh, and that's going to give us y equals 3s over s minus 2, s minus 3, and then plus 13 over s minus 2, s minus 3, uh, plus 3 over s minus 2. Okay, good. So I'll clean up the board, and then as I clean up the board, I'll bring this up, and then we'll go on from this step. Okay, so I've brought this equation up. I noticed that I had a small typo in the um, version that was on the bottom here, but I fixed that. If I set capital Y equal to the Laplace transform of little y, I have capital Y is this 3s over s minus 2 times s minus 3 plus 13 over the same thing, s minus 2, s minus 3, plus 3 over s minus 2 squared s minus 3. So I was missing something in that last term. Okay, good. So now how we would go about this is write each of these terms as uh, rational functions that appear on the right hand side of this and generally we would do that with uh, partial fraction decomposition. Now I've got a, uh, another couple of videos where we calculate the inverse Laplace trans transform using partial fraction decomposition and this is uh, uh, quite lengthy or whatever so I've been practicing this way of doing it really quickly. Let's see if it works. <laughs> 
Okay, so check it out, it worked. Now we have rewritten this using partial fraction decomposition into terms that look like the right-hand side of this Laplace transformation chart. So now we can just apply the inverse Laplace transform. So notice we have a little y will be the inverse Laplace transform of capital Y, which will be negative the inverse Laplace transform of one over S minus three, plus four times the inverse Laplace transform of one over S minus two, and then finally minus three, the inverse Laplace transform of um, one over S minus two squared. Okay, so now let's do these one at a time. So notice the first one, the inverse Laplace transform, the S minus three, that looks like this entry in the chart, so that's gonna be E to the three T. Good, now we have plus four. Well again, that looks like the first bit of the chart, so that is gonna give us e to the two t. Now let's see what we have for the ne this next term. We have minus three. Now s minus two squared, well having s squared in the denominator looks like having a t um, on the left hand side but it's been shifted a little bit and we can do the shifting with this formula. So in this case we have t times e to the 2t and that's the final answer.